This talk ain't for everybody. If it ain't for you, keep it moving. It's that simple. Uh. My truth, you can't take it from me. I thought the whole object was to be making money. The broke in my comments, I guess they waiting for me. You ever click the page of the that be hating on me? If you want to laugh, go and do it. A broke living off his past is so stupid. I got clear thoughts. Never treat your money like the airport. When you get into that bag, don't lose it. When you look like it, they gonna treat you like a star. No, I can't meet you at your bar. I don't condone it. If you tell me meet you at your bar, Three, better two. on Here we go, here we go, here we go. Style is a god, hip hop is real. Y'all already know how I give it up, man. I, I get a chance, you know, the opportunity to link with, you know, the legends, man. You know what I'm saying? Some of the best that's ever done it in this battle rap game. And you know who else to bring up here but the entrepreneur himself, the business, one of the guys known for business when it comes to this culture of battle rap. Got yeah. Guz the Animal here with me, man. How you feeling? The Slick Talk God. What's up, man? What's up, Knowledge? How you feeling? It's, I'm, I'm wonderful, man. You know, just, just living life, you know, uh, living in my true purpose, creating, uh, building. And I'm just excited about the future. And, you know, as yourself, you know, I'm getting into a different, a lot of different ventures and things like that. But um, it's always good to have you up here, man. Because not only are you a super nice battle rapper, you make good music. You know what I mean? But you also, you know, you show the game, and you like got one of the most honest opinions when it comes to this shit. I've never seen a moment where I asked you anything where you was flustered or you didn't speak your truth, or you know what I mean. So I, I gotta just salute you for just being one of the realest dudes i haven't met in this shit for 10 11 years that i've been doing this nah i appreciate that man i really appreciate that and i think in this in this culture man it ain't it's it's real wishy-washy you know what i'm saying one minute they love you next minute they don't so i try to stay not even try the only thing i could be is me so i'm gonna just give you my honest opinion on things i'm gonna, I'm gonna try to help you if i could um i'm gonna distance myself when need be you know what i'm saying so i you know you just got to know how to move in any industry really right you know what i'm saying so uh, I, I want to get started by, of course, you know what I mean? Um, everybody got to see, you know, Wayne, he's chopping it up. Next thing you know, niggas like, oh, shit, Goods is in the spot. You know what I mean? So, you know, the culture goes crazy. They like, you know what I mean? It's not something we expected. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But to see you guys together, it just created a lot of questions and just, you know, just excitement as well. A lot of right. people was just excited. And a lot, I seen a lot of people showing a lot of love. I seen DNA like, yeah. We got to start doing shit outside of just battle rap. Like, we bigger yeah. than this shit. So it was just good to see you and Wayne, man. What, what was that experience like? Um, I mean, we talking about one of the one of the biggest artists of our time. You know what I'm saying? So anytime you could be around somebody like that and they, and they just genuinely fuck with you, it's a good feeling. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no pressure. It wasn't. We just actually was just talking, just five minutes talking about mad different shit. And it's not like, and I think what a lot of battle rappers do is they kind of mess up because these 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 names hit them up and they get so excited. They just run and post it. And, and you're not knowing, <laughs> you know, you, you, you messing up a relationship like that. Like Wayne DM me. It's the biggest thing in the world. You know what I'm saying? For him to DM me. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I didn't run and go post it, and didn't know nobody would have knew nothing if he wouldn't have said nothing. He chose wow. to do that, and that and, and that was it. I wasn't gonna say nothing yet until it was the right time for me. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. So that's like you you know you got to keep your composure in situations like that. And I I've been around everything and been around you know a bunch of people hit me up. This is definitely the probably the biggest person that hit me up, but. It, it's just dope, you know what I'm saying, to be able to um, just sit there and chop it up with him, and it's, it's genuine, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to get nothing from it. He not trying to get, we just talking about regular life stuff and, you know what I'm saying, and things like that. But, you know, it, it, it's definitely some things happening, for sure. Let definitely. me ask you this. Have you ever met Wayne before? Was no. this your first encounter? Okay. Yeah, yeah, so I said he just he just hit me up recently. So he, he DM'd me Tuesday, and um I was down there – I was down there. They had flew me down there um, Friday. Dope. So that's it, though. Yeah. Huh? Um, 
you know, I know you guys, you know, like I, I watched your blog and you said there's definitely things being to work with, certain things you can't speak about, you know. Um, and, well, it's and not I certain see things I can't, it's, it's certain things I don't want to speak about yet until they happen. That's, that's okay. the, type of, the type of person I am, man. You, you know, people get their hopes up, they get too happy. My job is just to work at this point, you know what I'm saying? And, I, you know, I got, I got a Wayne stamp, which is, you know, I know how to take any little thing and make it and make it into something big. That's me. I've been like that. So I could take that stamp is all I need. Now I'm a work. It, it, it gives me um incentive to do, you know, more music and to drop more of these freestyles I've been dropping because they've been going crazy. Right. I've been dropping a lot. So now today I'm actually dropping on um, a, a, a video to a, a like, like a, a, like a one verse song I did. I'm going to just drop that, put that out there. Um, Friday, uh, next Friday, I'm going to drop an EP called I'm Tired of Waiting. You know Damn. what I'm saying? Because um, I got songs laying around that I've done. And, um, you know, I just ain't really do nothing with them because it's like, I said this though too, it, people don't understand this. And for my supporters, I said this to them because for me dropping these freestyles, a lot of people have been hitting me up like, yo, I need I need a take from you girls. I need something, I need something to ride around and listen to. And it's like, I want to do it, but I'm going to put all this hard work into it and it's not going to get the push or the acknowledgement that uh them freestyles I'm doing is getting or like if I do gotcha. battle so it kind of it kind of make me shy away from doing it but now that I got an incentive to do it now I'm going to I'm going to push with everything now I'm going to drop music now I'm going to drop um the freestyles I'm I'm just going to push with everything so definitely um y'all y'all listen out for this this new video I'm dropping uh on my page on Instagram I'm dropping on YouTube too called No Way to Run um quick little freestyle video uh and next friday i'm dropping the ep probably have like six no nothing crazy six songs on it something like that six six joints on there something real light up songs i had laying around and y'all rock with me man support me because this is when i need to push this is when i need all that so let's let's turn up um you know i know i know what you say with the music and you know but when i look you know when i look you know, you you and Fred, yeah, yeah, I did great numbers. You and Dave East, yeah, I did great numbers. Like it probably ain't in the millions like your battles, but two hundred no, something, no. three hundred something. You know yeah, what I mean? No, those <laughs> did great. Those did great numbers, but everything. Yeah. You know, like I I, I got, got some joints that did great numbers. Yeah, I do. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't get it twisted. The last freestyle I dropped, um, with me rapping, um, you know, instead of me like rapping live, I actually recorded and dropped. I think I did it over the Meek joint. That shit got like 80K. Those did good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if I could continuously get those type of numbers, then that's what it was for me for me to drop. You know what I'm saying? I, I would drop. But you talking about records I did with Dave East and, you know, somebody else there. Somebody got a big buzz and, you know, we sound good together. Or me and Fred, who sound exceptional together. That's my, yeah. my guy. Like, so... It's, you know, like it's not consistent and consistently doing good. And you know, like like because you battle rap, they're trying to shy away from you, like you you can't do this. They first they don't want you to listen to you. They first thing they'll say is, Yeah, battle rapper, he can't do no music. But they won't even listen to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So a person like Wayne hit me up, then what does that tell you? It tell you that whatever I'm doing, son, right? So maybe you should take a listen and see. You know what I'm saying? So let's, you know, let's let, let's go with it now. Let's rock. Now, now I'm I'm gonna start implementing that and doing all that. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. Uh chilling with a legend like Wayne, right? You know, Wayne for is on a lot of people top 10, top five lists, like in the world. It's icon, we, man. We yeah, icon. icon. Uh -huh. Yeah, he he literally at one point was running the game. Like he's probably the most influential rapper in the last 10, 20 years, as far as like how everybody dressed. Walk, move, rap, mm -hmm. shit like that. So, what conversations are y'all having when it comes to hip hop? You know what I mean? Like, because oh, y'all got man. two different styles. Like, y'all styles is like super right. different. You know what I mean? So, what, like, uh, is there anything that intrigues you when he's talking or you like, oh, okay, or you know what I mean? One thing I learned from talking to Wayne is he's exceptionally smart. I don't think a lot mm. of people know that. He's like nerd smart. Oh, sad. And I don't, and and that's one of the biggest things I saw when I was talking to him. Like he, he's he's well rounded. He know a lot about a lot of things, or he know a little bit about a lot of things. So we, man, we we spoke about so many different things. 
I don't even think we really spoke about hip hop too much. Wow. You know what I'm saying? For a brief minute we did, but we spoke about so many different things, man. Or like it, it, it was crazy to, to to the point where he he told me like yo yo come yo come over here we 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 gonna do something together we gonna do a joint and we was talking so much about so much different things we didn't even get a chance to even get in another yeah. you know, do none of that because we was just vibing and talk about so much different shit and you know I'm not young no more so I can hold these conversations me and him is the same age so got you talking about so on a, on a grown man level we're talking about things like that so. And I'm good with that. It's just the you know when you you learn a lot from listening to people and talking in different conversations and being in different rooms. And I think people need to take advantage of that. So I learned a lot just sitting there talking. So you really got to just meet Wayne the man. Like you got to really meet him. Like the man. Like fuck the rapper. Like <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Because he he expressed that he fuck with me. He genuinely fuck with me, and that's. That's all. That's that's good enough for me, bro. If I don't ever do nothing with Wayne from here on, I'm cool with just the encounter and what we spoke about. Even though that's you know that's not the case because you know me and him speak on a on on a, on you know on somewhat of a regular basis now. You know what I'm saying that we we do got some things in the works. You know what I'm saying we keep talking that's about some things and things like that. So yeah, I mean, but you know, yeah, what, what you know. I know, I know, you know, you you got experience it, but I can't imagine like what what does a good Lil Wayne track sound like? Cause that is different. Like, you know what I mean? I'm gonna tell you this, man. And I don't think, I don't think, and you know, you, you might get some people in here that say something different, but I feel like I could rap with anybody, bro. Like I'm I'm not I understand battle rap is one thing, right? Yeah. Battle rap is one thing. But when it comes to just rapping, I could rap with anybody. You could put me on a track with anybody. I don't care who it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get busy. And it's because I stick to myself. The reason I'm able, and I have my own style. Nobody sounds like me. You know what I'm saying? I got my mm. own style. I, I, I talk about a certain thing. I, You know what I'm saying? Um, Things like that. So I think those things is probably what Wayne saw in me when he, when he heard me. You know, he definitely liked the stuff I talk about and things like that. But different is always fire so wayne is the type of person where if if he fuck with you lyrically or rapping wise he wants you around him because it's gonna push him so i think me and him getting on the track is gonna be kind of a friendly competition and that's with anybody that that raps you know what i'm saying i'm not i think people will freeze up in a moment like i'm on a track with wayne nah I'm on track with Wayne. I got to get busy. <laughs> yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, but um, I don't know. I think I think it's gonna be crazy. You know what I'm saying? I think it's gonna be crazy, man. I, th I think it's gonna be crazy. And I think I think if me and him do something, it might be, it might be back to old Wayne just rapping. Who knows? Yeah. You yeah, know, nah. going to any dimension he want to go into because it's gonna challenge me, and I, I know I could do it. So. Um, I, I I was listening to your blog and I get I, I just seen like you know you have like a like a resurgence of just a good energy as far as like getting back into it artistically. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you you just seem like you just you just having fun again with rapping and right. things like that. What's what sparked that? What put that energy back? You know, I, I know you said the fans like thinking that you know you you can't do what you do, but you know what what really sparked that energy to start having fun again with this shit? Yo, it's crazy because I don't know. It's just I going in and out these pockets of I'm focused on business. This is what this is what's making me the money. So I, I'm focused on this. I'm, I'm more of a businessman now. But then when I get in these pockets of wanting to rap, I, I don't know. I, I just I just get in this pocket for a minute, and then what it really is is the reception I'm getting back from doing it. Like it's so much people. I, I got one one of them freestyles is probably almost I think 700k. And it's so much people that shared that freestyle and liked it and commented on it. Like people, you we talking about names. I'm talking about we talk about big names. You go look at the people that like that and commented on it and all that. We talk about people that's not following me. So they liking it and commenting, but they ain't following me. So that means it's reaching different people is in the algorithm. So that support and and people wanting to hear me and they liking it makes me want to keep doing it. 
Now I'm like, oh, y'all, y'all like that one? I, I got another one for you. Oh, you like that one? I got another one for you. So it's make it is making me back hungry and want to keep feeding the people because of the reception I'm getting back and the support I'm getting back. And, and they loving it. And the longest my supporters have been supporting me from whenever, long as they love it and they want me to keep doing it, I'm gonna keep doing it. As long as I'm getting that good reception. And that's what it been. And I think for me having fun with it now, it's opening up other doors like a Wayne to hit me and, and things like that. Because I ain't rapped this much in a long time. I dropped four freestyles back to back. I think a week apart or no more than two weeks. Yeah. I ain't miss. I ain't really miss a week. I probably miss like if I did it, I dropped the freestyle, missed one week, dropped it again, missed one week, dropped it again and dropped another freestyle. Like I've been on, I've been doing it consistently. So yeah, it's, 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 it's fun again. I, I like I like what you talk about in your raps, you know, from the I nine five, you know, bring your daughter up and uh, the different things. I like what you rap about, you know, um, you know, me being a certain age, me being an entrepreneur. Like I feel like that's like you 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 kind of like you you get you, it's the uh, entrepreneur theme spirit <laughs> freestyle. Like nigga, this is this is hustler music. This is like we we going to get it. Like so every time I'm listening and you talking man shit, like real man shit, like you know what I'm saying. I feel like you 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 definitely honed your style and who you are and like you know what I don't got time to be talking about bullshit you know what I mean yeah I talk a little hustler shit but I'm really talking about getting your credit together getting your business together fuck all that corny shit nigga I'm not even thinking about doing it's that it. block shit you like, know what I mean I like that it's for me what I call it is motivational rap or luxury rap. I'm talking about, I'm not sure, I'm not, I'm not, and I think people, some people misconstrue it. I'm not bragging about nothing because I'm still, I'm not no millionaire yet. I ain't, you know, but I'm working to get to that. I'm yeah. working to be straight for the rest of my life. And I'm, a, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to motivate you to do the same thing. You want to start that business, go start it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, so you, you want to get that new car, but you don't got the money to get it. Figure out a way to get that money to go get that new car. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm with y'all. Let's rock. That, that that's how I'm on it. So, you know, is and I and I like it. I'm gonna stay in my lane. Luxury rap. Mo, you know what I'm saying? More mo, mo, motivational rap. Man, I'm gonna motivate the people. And I'm gonna talk from a hustler point of view. I didn't came from hustling on the streets to hustling business. It's the same shit. Yeah. Same thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to show people, man. It's the same shit. You could do it. If I did it, you could do it. And. Um, as far as business right now, I know, you know, you got the, you know, the slick, the slick whole apparel, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The colognes and everything like that. What's, what's updates? What's the new things you working on? Sneakers? Like, what, what, what is goods working on right now currently that the people could engage in? I know you got the store, everything like that, but what, what do you want them to be focused on right now as far as the mm -hmm. goods apparel, the, the slick fork apparel and everything like that? I got, I got two new colognes coming out uh together it's called aura that's the men and her aura for women okay so i got two of them coming out together and I'm, I'm working on that right now um they smell sensational incredible and it's, it's so crazy because i my colognes are sold out right now and Fire. they sold out and i can't the the stuff i need to recreate them is not is not in stock so i can't i can't mm. go make them so they kind of sold out completely right now. So the stuff comes to they get the stuff back or back order so I can make it. So them cologne sell, man. But I, I got a new cologne coming out that's incredible. And the people that bought cologne from me, any of my sense, they know that's incredible, man. Um, I got a new sneaker coming out, the CR1s. Everybody that saw this sneaker is in love with this sneaker, man. And I'm sorry it's taking so long for me to drop, but these runs cost a lot of my weight, like more, double the money they cost for me to, to do the slip walks. So okay. I'm just getting it right. Super dope sneaker, man. Um, and like two weeks, I'm dropping um some some t-shirts for the summer. They they call all uh, the slick Keisha t-shirts. Um, I, I if you go to my Instagram, I had it on one of my pictures. I think it's gone, but um the shirt you you'll see it though. It's it's, it's called Slick Keisha. There's a girl on it. You you remember that girl? That girl from your hood when you was in high school and she used to have all the older niggas come pick up. She was the baddest on the block. Yeah, yeah. You know, lights yeah. Control, with big earrings, bad. I, th I thought you, I thought you saw my Keisha from Belly, but I, I, I got yeah, yeah. But that, but that, but but the girl <laughs> looks like Keisha from Belly. Okay, fire, fire. Well, slick Keisha, so slick Keisha, you know, slick Keisha. Fire. So, but that's what it is, and it's hauling it with the big earrings, with the slick walking the earrings. I'm, 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 
let me see some matter of fact. Hold on. Let me see if I can show it on camera real quick. Mm. I, got, I got it coming out in black and um white. And then I got these shorts I did coming out. That's crazy. But but let, let me just show you this real quick. Nah, listen, even going to your store, I was impressed just by all the different pieces you've been working on from the bucket hats to the jackets. You know what I'm saying? Like you you really diversify, like you're not really just a one trick pony. So I oh damn. Okay. Yeah, she got the knockers on there too. All right. So yeah, so that's the <laughs> stuff, man. So yeah, I gotta and I'm doing limited, real real limited stuff. It's only gonna be maybe five in every size. That's it. Maybe less okay. than that. Might be four in every size. So I want it to be limited. And um, yeah, man, that's that's it. I'm I'm just working. So uh, as far as the sneakers, because I, I know a lot of people. I've seen a lot of people with the slick walks. Like I'm not even gonna lie. Like outside yeah. of just me, slick like walk, I see niggas walk with walk slick walks. Yo, I love y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> slick walks up, but it's a good, it's a good, comfortable sneaker. It is. It's not, it's not I, that you I, of me. Cause, all right, so this is what happens with with anything. Somebody will do something because they fuck with you the first time. They're not gonna do something because they fuck with you the second time. They gotta really like it. Like I, I'll support some a black owned business because I want to support black owned. But if I don't like the product, it'll just be that one time. I'm gonna support the one yeah. time. Yeah. If I like the product, I'm gonna keep supporting. So the slick walks is really just a dope, comfortable all day sneaker. It's a great gym sneaker. It weighs one yep. pound. You can wear them. It's a great run around sneaker. It's just a dope slip on your feet and go sneaker. So. Yep. I'd, be, yeah, I'd be surprised going places seeing people and I'm like, hey, like, yeah, because you see with the slick walks on. And I'm like, wow, I'm all, I'll be all the way up playing. I'm like, what the, or oh, people that, yo, I, it's times I saw people that didn't know me, like older women and stuff like that with slick walks on. And it's probably because their kids bought it for them or something like that. And I'd be looking like, wow, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's flattering, man. And it's, I, I appreciate it to the fullest, for real. I, and, and I say that to say, like, whoa, what was the mindset? You know, we're going to talk a little battle rap. I don't know how much time you got, but we're going to talk a little battle rap. But I definitely I just want to get into it. Let me see. I got about I got about another 10 minutes. All right, man. So Good just trick. real quick, and then I'm going to get into some battle rap shit. But, um, like, what was the mindset, like, you know, when, when you put these sneakers together, like, the, the, the new joints, knowing how successful the slick walks are, what was the mindset, like, all right, so the monster for these new joints, and I'm mad. I showed them, people saw them, and I, I wish I got them here. I'm just gonna have to go get them. I don't know exactly where they're at right now. But okay. um this sneaker I wanted to make more of a high-end looking type of sneaker. You know what I'm saying? More of not like a gym everyday sneaker, but more, more of a sneaker you rock. That kind of go anything you could wear it with jeans, you go wear which they go with everything. Um, you could wear it with with high end, it look fire. You could wear it with with everything, just more like a high end kind of look of a sneaker. And I, I accomplished that, man. I, I can't wait for these. Like I want to wear my sample so bad, but I'm trying to hold off. So, or um, uh, I'm gonna get into some battle rap real quick. First yeah. off, like uh. What do you think? We, we six months in. We're in the seventh month. You know what I mean? We halfway through the year. How you feel about the culture right now, where we at? Um, I, I think this always comes around to happen, man. You know, the culture slows down a little bit. We we waiting for the next big thing to come through, the um, next big sponsor. You know what I'm saying? I think all of URL, I think URL get a lot of slack for a lot of things, man, but they always find a way to make things happen. Um, we just had a good card that no one was, was turned out to be fire. Shout, shout out the URL for that. But I think they get a lot of slack. And I want to commend all the other leagues that's putting in the work, keeping battle rap alive. I, you know, everything slows down. You know what I'm saying? Slow money is better than no money, though. So as long as you're getting some type of events or some type of something, then, then we're in a good place. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It slowed down, those are right. It, it'll, it'll pick back up when another bag coming in and be crazy. Or maybe it won't. Maybe this is the time to start for battle rap to start figuring out other things. You get what I'm saying? What do, you, what do you think about your peers? Like, you know, really like kind of like, because one thing I said, I seen is like, even with uh ARP retiring, you know, Smack, you know, not having a caffeine sponsor and they throwing limited events. I feel like, you know, with QB, Easy to Block Captain, John right. John, right. Arsenal, Calico, I feel like, you know, 
it's a lot of you know and then of course salute to you know all the other battle leagues that are still always actively you know uh doing their work like you know what i'm saying uh black black ice cartel and all but as far as the battle rappers i've seen a lot of them like don't worry i got they're a type situation they're step, yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they're stepping it up i mean i think Gucci Gotti as well yeah yeah we got to get you guy in there he, he better start his i i think um i think i think all everything is good for battle rap everybody's stepping up in a way everybody trying to figure something out everybody doing something all that's just good for battle rap you know what i'm saying so you know we, we just in a place right now where it slowed down a little bit and I, it's cool that it slowed down you know what i'm saying it might you don't know how long it's gonna be slow it might be slow for another year it might be slow for the end of the year whatever but it's something else i think something else to come into battle rap big you know what i'm saying and and and, and hype it back up again but you gotta think battle rap been around for a long time long 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 time so these are things you have to expect you know what i'm saying you can't be yeah you, anybody that thought this shit was gonna be super popping forever you just not being realistic you know you know to this day the last like with the most capacity event was when you battle cassidy you know that's like the most biggest capacity event like i don't remember last time it was an event either bigger than that like what how does it feel to have that on your resume you know what I'm saying? headline I, you know, all I, didn't, I didn't even know that was that was that bigger than um was the capacity bigger than, yeah it probably was i was, gonna no, say it was that, the man. biggest it was the biggest it was the most people i think it was over three thousand people that was the most i think i, I think that's incredible and I, what i do think is i think i don't get enough credit for what i bring to this battle rap culture and and, and the, the amount of work and and um the things i put into this culture i don't get enough credit for it um a lot of people say yeah that was cassidy but cassidy also battled this he also battled arsenal and they didn't do that and hitman and hitman you know what i mean and hitman and they didn't do that so you know i think people need to put a little bit more respect on my name you know what i'm saying but in the in, in the same breath <laughs> at the same breath i really don't be caring because when these leagues call me they know what i'm worth yeah of course you see me on every card that when they when they talk to me they talk to me very nice all they got all you got to do is go check the numbers. yeah check the numbers then you will see so uh, yeah. but that's uh, dope. I, 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 that's something that's something i didn't even know and i'm i'm blessed. nah bro because you know i witnessed it i've seen it i haven't seen nothing before or after that's been that big so you know what i mean like of course hitman and cassidy definitely was big but i'm talking about just capacity i mean niggas was outside right yeah i've never seen that like with, with you and cassidy ever right, like right. you know what i mean so that that's was crazy that's that just crazy that's just crazy um lux and nitty what you thought about that battle real quick lux and, nitty. and who'd you have winning yeah um, lux and nitty incredible battle lived up to the hype to me um i had lux i think the second and the third uh I, I i did a whole take on it i forgot how i had it but i know it was to me it was a close battle man it was an incredible battle you know what i'm saying but i had lux clearly winning the second and the third but not clearly if you understand what i'm saying not like killing no no because no. nitty second was fucking nigga, amazing <laughs> edging the, i had lux yeah. so it was, i had nitty edging the first i think lux edging yeah. the second and lux winning the third okay um definitely one of the you know I, was that a game changing battle for the culture was it like you know do you feel like it, it lived up to what it was supposed to be i i think it did hell yeah i think it did and and and, and that's hard that's hard to do but i'm gonna tell you son though we not in the ever right now with battle rap where like with, with big stages it's it, it, like this is perfect this is actually perfect it shouldn't be no big stage battles for at least a year because they wasn't being they wasn't good we in the ever where the small room is the room you know what i'm saying so you're gonna get good quality battles in this small room there's nothing there to mess it up you don't gotta worry about too much of control in the crowd being on stage or 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 the or somebody booing or or this or mad stuff happening on the stage just people over here moving or whatever yeah. you can just focus on the battles having 100 200 people 300 people in the room we back to that old school type of way of battling. I think that's how battle need to stay for at least a year, year and a half, because we're gonna mm. get good quality battles out of that. No, I agree. I and agree. I love, them, I love them rooms too. I love them. Yeah. Rooms. Um, I'm gonna ask you this last thing. Um, okay. 
what do you think about uh, the next biggest event is August 10th. Easy, just, you know, I ain't going to lie. I don't know how he did it for the trenches anniversary, but he was able to make certain matchups that, well, I, you know, that I was shocked. You know what I mean? Avin Hollow. You know what I mean? We, we've we been seeing them guys go back and forth for a long time and things like that. But what do you think about the card and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, uh, card, uh, the, the card is super dope, super dope. But, I mean, come on, man. You don't, you don't think Remy, Remy definitely back and easy on the call. Like, I, I don't think you got to be smart <laughs> with this stuff, man. And, that, and, that, and that's not taking nothing away from easy. And, um, yeah. and I, I, honestly, it's dope business to have two cards and kind of working together and keeping it like it ain't. Then I probably I just blew that up. But, all right, cool. I mean, be smart. You know, but, anyway. But um, no, super dope. I think since Easy started doing the 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 the, the, the battle shit and, and doing his own league, he been putting on. You know what I'm saying? I, I think he been putting on ever since the first day. And I, I I think I think he bossed up. You know what I'm saying? Him leaving your route, I think he bossed up and and you know I've been making you know boss moves ever since. You know what I'm saying? So hats off to him. Uh, been doing him. The the top top three batches. Let me just get a quick prediction and we good. Um, Verb versus uh Jones. How you got winning? How how you see that battle going down? Um, Verb versus Jones. I got Verb. Why? Real quick. Yeah. Um, I think I just think Jones rap like a hit. How? Hip to the hip, hip, hip of the hip, but you don't stop. But rock it to the bang, bang, boogie. That's how Jones rap. It's how it <laughs> so you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but um, that's I mean that you know he gonna be like he gonna be like all right, good. You 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 wanna get you wanna get I mean, smacked Jones up on that? Shot. Shot. Jones been taking <laughs> shots at me for for yo, bro. Jones been taking shots. I don't even know where it came from. Jones said I'm <laughs> I'm I'm not that good. I shouldn't. He didn't be saying massive, and I'm just like, what? Well, damn, Jones, right, what happened? But um. He's been taking shots for a long time now. So, so you think he dated? You think he's dated, basically? Yeah. I think I think he's dated. I think his style is. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I think he still could rap. But it's just his style of rap right now is just, you know, it's, it's not too good. It doesn't fit. It, it's not working. Mm. And you think Verb just going to be better than him that day? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hollow and Av. Real hard to call. Um, if I had to, I'm I'm gonna go Hollow because mm. Hollow does Av is exceptional at one thing. And I don't never think somebody that's, that's exceptional at one thing can beat somebody that's good at a variety of things. And Hollow is good all across the board at about five, six, seven different things. It's hard Thanks. to it's hard to beat somebody like that unless you're good at multiple things. And I just think Av is exceptional at one thing. So if I had to put money on it, I'm going to go hollow because of that. I'm always going to bet like with the person that I've seen it. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that does one thing great is going to have trouble with somebody that does seven things or five things good. A bunch of things good. So, yeah. Mm. And uh, the final matchup, uh, Easy and Ill Will, you know what I mean? Easy coming off, uh, you know, the Clips battle. A lot of people had, you know, Clips winning, coming off the John John, the, the, the Geechee mm -hmm. battle. Now he battling somebody like Ill Will. What do you think about that matchup? Um, I think this is going to be his hardest opponent out of everybody. I said this already. Um, I, I said it to Clips, too. Like, Clips and Ill Will was going to be Easy's hardest opponents because – they do everything. They do a lot of different things well, and they're not in his type of rap. Like, even with me, yeah. I was in his type of rap. Um, even though I feel like I do a lot of things well, also like a, a bunch of things good, I was in his type of rap, so it's easier for him. Somebody like Clips that's not in his type of rap talking about those type of things, and ill will that don't talk about those type of things, but does five, six, seven things well. Those are the people he will have trouble with. Mm. I think he got you, you think cool, I, so yeah you know but this is when it matters when that stigma goes away when the fans don't like you no more because I tried to I even told him he's just uh, yeah <laughs> you, feel, you feel like that now but these it's gonna come a time where these fans don't like you no more yeah and, this, and, and, and that's gonna show if you belong here or not or if you really who you say you are it happens to all of us it ain't just you know what I'm saying so and this yeah, is they, turn, right they eventually turn on you, right? 
They, they uh, eventually turn on. They eventually turn on you. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I'm gonna end it with this, right? Um, this morning, I don't know if you saw it, but Ill Will posted a clip, a YouTube clip where you know with you and Easy battle, and it said Goods almost get knocked out by Easy the Black Captain. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? And he posted that. He and then he basically said, "I personally believe Goods would have fucked him up, <laughs> eight out of ten or something like that." So, um. I just wanted to ask you about that moment when you did battle easy. And this was kind of the first time we see them get like, you know, I wouldn't say out of character, but we see them get aggressive towards another battler like that and shit like that. And, you know, you kind of laughed it off, but kind of like talk about that moment real quick. Oh, um, it's crazy because I saw that shit too. And, 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 and whoever <laughs> put it up, they're killing them in the comments for that. <laughs> you know, wild on them. But, um, I didn't take it serious. It was funny. Yo, I don't, yo, you gotta understand, man. I don't, it's battle rap. And, and, and I understand the battle, the battlers and, and battle rap. You know what I'm saying? If, you know, if it's that deep, I know for me, if, if it's that deep and I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. Me, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no, ain't nobody gonna be able to stop me. I'm gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? But easy, easy is, he funny, man. <laughs> easy is funny. So, I didn't even really mean to laugh, but it really was funny though. But I didn't that that was just battle rap. It wasn't an unheated, low heated moment. And it's battle like a battle rap, rap tactic, though. huh? Is it a battle rap tactic? Like you know, like he got a show because you know it's a show at the end of the day. Oh, of and I feel like it did it, it did help him because he like look, he's standing up the goods, yeah. Like he not intimidated by that, yeah. You know I, mean? I, I guess yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, that, and, and that's the way people would take it and do and do stuff like that. And is a good tactic, yes, in battle rap. You know what I'm saying to to do that. I don't know why they'll take it like that. Like he's standing up with rapping. We're not fighting. We're not throwing no <laughs> punches. We're just throwing words. This is not. This is not that. But I didn't feel um disrespected though or nothing like that or like um because I, I I'll tell you like I live by certain morals, bro. I'm really from that era where we live by certain morals. If, the minute I feel disrespected, I'm gonna do something. That's just, I, I just in my brain. If I feel disrespected, I'm going to do something. I never felt disrespected in that moment at all. And and I I think it was just battle rap. Easy was just in a moment. And and I know that. from I, I've been here so long, I understand it. So it wasn't nothing that big or nothing at all. Yeah. It was like regular. It's just nothing. Yeah. Uh, uh, my bad, guys. Uh, my bad. Last thing. The, uh -huh. the, Shug, the, the fact that you brought that up just made me think about the Shug boxing. I, I don't know if you got the peak to face offs. And all that shit that just happened last night. Did, so I'm sure. I this is the first time we actually seen somebody put it together, and it really looked like it's really about to happen. And you yo, know, until it happened, yo, I pray that it do. It. I, <laughs> no, I hope November second. I hope Sugar Vent <laughs> go great. I hope it happened. Yeah, I, I am surprised to see these niggas saying they're gonna fight because I know with battle rappers they'll say that. But nobody wants to be embarrassed and all that, and I get it. And Real you, shit. And niggas talk a lot of shit. Yeah. So, I really want it to happen. <laughs> I'm praying it, dude, man. Shug, if you, if you get this to happen, man, you to go. You to go because yeah. I thought about doing this. Shug took the idea. I, I, I was I was about to do it. I had some investors that want to invest on. I was about to do it, and um, and then Shug came out of nowhere with it. He he beat me to it. You know what I'm saying? And I. I I pray that it go through for sugar, man. And sugar, if you make it happen, man, you the goat for that, for real. And, and, and with the face off, you looking at it, this ain't a battle, like, cause these niggas they talking they shit. Y'all really about, about to put y'all niggas y get to put our hands on each other. Yeah, I can't believe Old Red doing it. Yeah, with Sis and Sis yeah. talking like he a professional Mayweather nigga. <laughs> yeah, but why would you be fighting a nigga that got boxing background though? Yo, Old Red sound like he don't give a fuck, like you nigga. Old Red don't give a fuck though. I got the street background, nigga. Oh, Red gonna bite the shit out of Stig. <laughs> he gonna lock on his leg. Stig gonna be shaking his leg. Bro. Mike Tyson. Lock on it. I'm yeah. Yo, for, oh. 40 bars, though, and Yoshi. Like I saw that they was bugging, man. Yoshi, why are you fighting, Yoshi? You know these Yo. girls don't like you, man. You know these girls don't like you, Yoshi. Why are you fighting for, man? She want hers. She want hers. She want the smoke. Who who gonna win, goods? Like with the matchup? Don't ask yeah. me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know who's gonna win. <laughs> but I will. If it's a pay per view, I will be watching the pay per view for sure. Hell I yeah! Will give my input after it goes off for sure. <laughs>
and, and I'm ending with this. If it goes, if it goes, it happens, and it goes well, would you be down to do it the next event? You, you know how much they'll have to pay me to get in the ring, and and, and if they got the money, let's just assume they got the money. If they got the money, would you be able? Yeah, would you be me, down to do it? Yeah, give me a give me hundred thousand. I'll do it. Damn, you ain't had to tell the money, man. Like now they're gonna be like, as a matter of fact, yo. That's good. That. Money. So you uh -huh. see me up there, you yeah, you right, you right, you right. You right, you right, you right. So y'all know the price, y'all know the ticket. Get over goods that. in the over, ring. Over that, I'll do my own. That's real. But I'm too old to be getting up there boxing, getting hit on my head, and all that, and all that. Like, <laughs> hit me the wrong. I'm gonna really get mad. We gonna have beef. You, you heard what Forty said? She said if she lose. She fight her after. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that. Just don't get in there and do that. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just don't get in there and do that. Nah, but definitely salute to Shug. Definitely was super entertaining yesterday. You know what I mean? Man, super dope, man. Oh, yeah. and Snake Eyes. He announced Snake Eyes and Stumbles is fighting too. So that's to me. I like the fact that, you know, fuck it, man. These niggas really have real smoke, real situations. I think this is the best way to handle it. Honestly. I ain't going to lie. If they really got issues and all that, I, look, and it's so crazy. Somebody just sent me this. That's the funny shit. Hilarious. <laughs> Them niggas is I, I I watched a little bit. They were to me they was fake. You think that was real? I just watched the beginning. No, that, that no nah, no nah, that was real, my nigga. Because you know what? They gotta put hands on each other. Like Stiz ain't joking about that. Oh Red ain't joking about that. Like y'all niggas gotta like they probably like laugh a little bit. But nigga, when you get in there, and it's one minute rounds. You know what I mean? It's one minute rounds. Yeah, but to, to be started, like, yeah. Niggas act like yo one minute's a short time, but yo you hey, haven't been in the bro, fight. No, <laughs> y'all niggas ain't fight. Yeah, yeah, never fought. Yeah, and it's three three rounds, one minute each round. Like niggas gonna be tired. Like niggas like think they got the wind, smoking cigarettes. I hope niggas are stressed. Yeah. That's the thing, man. That's why I make sure I get in there. Like I'm going to the gym now. After I work out, I'm gonna hit the bag. You know what I'm saying? Because you you, you want to keep your joints. You know what I'm saying? Loose. So if real talk, nigga, test you on the street. You gotta be able to really know throw a punch. Don't fuck up your shit. So I hope these niggas is like really. Like training, man, and not smoking yeah. cigarettes and no. Yeah, should should training. I don't know about Ab, but should look like he out there every day. Yo, you know what I mean? Doing his thing. If I'm if I was doing it, man, I, I'm I'm jogging. Like I know how to go into that type of training. Like I work out now, but I'm gonna go into a whole different training. I'm jogging for stamina. I'm yeah. doing all that. I'm behind the back. I'm yeah. I'm gonna call my man. That's a professional boxer to come train me because he he used to train me. Um, this probably was like a uh, two years ago. I, I was doing a training for like six six months, and that shit is no joke, man. Yeah, and, so, and you like you said, you don't want to go in there, get embarrassed, get knocked out, because the bars are gonna be crazy. Right. <laughs> I'm eager to see it, man. I can't wait, man. I'm eager to see it. Definitely. Yo, goods. Appreciate your time, man. Uh, no much more success to you. Keep winning, and uh, when the sneakers is getting ready for the pre-orders, whatever, please right. let me know. I need a pair myself, but I'll make sure I promote it. To all the fans out there, I things like that, so they could. That. Now, you already know, goods. I'll uh, handle your business, and I'm back in the gym too. So you know what I mean? Okay. Well, when you come up here, <laughs> we gonna get one in. You already know. Be safe, brother. Appreciate right. you.